Hey, this is 265 Chevy here, two car garage. Good, look who I'm with. What's happening, fellas? Yeah, hey, Sean. There you go. I'm, I'm showing them New Orleans. How you like New Orleans so far? Oh, I got a great tour guide and a gracious <laughs> host. So, what more could I ask for? Yeah, we're gonna be giving y'all video updates. He's gonna be taking a few videos, and I'm gonna be giving some for what we're doing today. Just kind of show them the city and everything. Me and my wife uh, took a day off and uh, we would hang around and we over here at Johnny's Pool Bar, show them a little uh, good New Orleans cuisine. See if I can get them to uh, put a little meat on that bone, you know, like New Orleans style. I'm trying to keep it off, brother. <laughs> but uh, we just having a little fun. We're gonna show you a few things when we're when we doing. We're going to go check out the garage and everything, bring them over there. Just trying to show them the city, but uh, um, he'll be out and about tonight, so you probably see some of those videos or whatever. But I uh, just want to give y'all a little update, and and we'll be talking later. Later, Sean. Say bye, man. See you guys. We'll catch you later. All right, fellas. It's the end of the day. 10:29:30. We got all the lights off. Looking in today. Of course, the plaster. Busted, so I had to cut a new line, so I moved it over to the next stud. Well, all the the uh, lath are off. Man, I tell you what, that I don't know if y'all could see that, but that lumber is thick. So, got the baseboard off. Uh, turned off the electricity. Uh, wired up the wire nuts. So we ain't gonna have no mistakes. And uh, next thing, uh, tomorrow I work. So the next day I'm gonna get up in the attic, um, start cutting out that floor. Then I'll come out here and start cutting out this floor before I start taking off the weatherboards downstairs. Um, just wanna give y'all a little slight update. Cleaned it up a little bit. A lot of plaster, a lot of dust. The whole thing is kind of live and work. It's really a pain in the ass because you kind of try to try to clean up everything. The good old scaffold came into a good effect. I don't know if I'm gonna have to take off that baseboard because the floorboards might run underneath it, which they probably do. So I might have to cut that up about four inches and cut it all the way across, and then take off that uh, baseboard so I can take off the floor. And the reason why is because uh, the floor is like this throughout the whole house. But let me show you something. Um, here in this room, which is my daughter's room, we took that tile off and this is what the floor looks like underneath it. So I like the effect. So I don't want to, I just don't want to cut the floor. So we can't, um, you know, we can't sand it down and redo the floor later on. So he's either, so I need to take it off to a point where I can stagger it. So, you know, I don't want to cut it just a straight line, straight across. You know, that would be the easiest way to do it. But, you know, it looks like shit when you, when you sand a floor down. So uh, we're probably going to have to take it up. The tile, uh, I mean the tile of the benches is going to come up, you know, all of it and probably take it up all the way to here. I think that wall is somewhere right around here. So, uh, you, know, well, you know, just get it done. And, but upstairs in the attic, it's no big deal. Um, I can just take it all off. I looked up into it. I mean, there's a hole right there. I don't know if y'all can see that. But, uh. I don't know if I'm gonna have to go through the plate or I can go around. Hopefully I can go around because that plate's pretty thick. Um, probably gonna have to take out this sill right here. So I have enough room to uh, to drill the holes and then I'll just put the sill back. But um, that's it fellas. Today is 1029, Tuesday. Tomorrow I work. I think I'm gonna love start going to work. I think I'm ready. <laughs> Doing some uh, up and down, down and up, and uh, I'm freaking worn out. Um, like I said, doing it by myself, going upstairs, 
get, you know, stuff, go downstairs, get tools, and, you know, bringing them upstairs, work, and then forgetting something, going back down, it, it'll drive you. But, um, you know, I guess y'all can see how uh, I cut the, I cut the, the sheetrock, I mean, with a plaster off, nice and straight. You know, I use a Dremel for all that. Same thing with up there, so when I put the new sheetrock to butt it up against the old plaster, I have something to butt it up to, and then I can tape and float it, and you'll never know it's even there. You know, fellas, I used to do this work for for about 20 years. I owned my own business for about eight or nine, painting and plastering and doing some home repairs. I mean, I wasn't a contractor anything. I was a painting contractor, but I wasn't. So that part I, I can do. You know, this is all plaster right here, and the only thing you do is actually... Um, you know, you you can take a measurement and then you take a put a put a line and use a Dremel and you cut it off nice and straight and the plaster will come off and then you can butt your uh, sheetrock right to it and then you you kind of put about just like on cars you kind of put maybe like three inches down and three inches over and you blend it in you'll never see that line. Only said it only said that the wall moves and it will crack. You know, so uh, you got to kind of watch where you kind of put your, your lines and stuff. You don't really want to put your lines like over windows, you know, right over that window. You know, you want to kind of go like more in the middle and it won't crack. If you put it on both ends of the windows, I guarantee you it will crack. The window will move. Um, well, that's it for this. I'm uploading the first video and, this is in, uh, and I'll upload this one. So uh, y'all have a good night and enjoy y'all Wednesday. And uh, y'all probably be getting a lot of videos from me. And like I said, you know, um, I'll be doing some cars, you know, car videos and stuff when I get time. When I get tired of doing this, I'll go, you know, go fool with the car on the Saturday or something like that, maybe. But I just want to get this started and get it running and get all this, uh, all the demolition done, and then I can start putting it all back together. All right, fellas, y'all have a good day. Bye. Hey, fellas, 265 Chevy here, two-car garage. Uh, got the all wall. I think I showed y'all that. But now I got the, the floor with the uh, tile off of it because I got to open up this floor. I did the attic already. I'm going to go show y'all that. So that's all up. Pretty much the same thing I'm going to do to this floor, what I'm gonna do to the attic. Just a little update. But um, unfortunately, this floor goes underneath that baseboard and it goes out to a, a way to go down the stairs, the platform. So I'm gonna have to take off that baseboard and I'm gonna have to probably tear it out to right about here somewhere and uh, take all that plaster off and uh, so I can take the baseboard off and I can cut the floorboard out and uh, I'll show you what I did upstairs to get it done um, also uh, you know um, clean up in here a little bit today today is uh, what is it um, I don't even know what day it is Thursday but uh haven't made a video. Uh, I, had, I had a good guest. I had uh, Sean. This is all going to be part of this video. Sean came down to New Orleans, took a day off, went and showed him, you know, the French Quarter and everything. We really didn't make too many videos. Just really one we was eating at one of the restaurants that we took him to, me and my wife. And I had a great time with him. And uh, so uh, I just want to tell Sean thanks. It was a lot of fun. Um, I wish he could have stayed down here longer. Maybe we could have hooked up at night, went out and listened to some music and everything. But um, it was fun. But uh, don't want to make it too long. I got a bunch of little tidbit videos I'll put all together on this one. And y'all can see what I've been doing. Been a lot of work, fellas. I mean, taking these uh, tiles off this floor. On one of the videos, you'll see what the floor actually looks like after you do all this. But it's very time consuming, you know. To take a row off, you know, you got the little tile one by one. It's glued down. You got to actually, you know, chisel up, you know, piece by piece. 
and get all this black glue up before it can actually be sanded. Um, it's somewhere else down the road, but I had to get all this up so I can uh, tear into the floorboard so I can run the pipe for the drain. I didn't even get down to the downstairs yet. Uh, probably work up here Saturday, get this all out, and uh, maybe start tearing out this floor and get that done. Then I'll go downstairs and I'll start tearing off the weatherboards on the side of the house. And then all the demolition part will be done. So let me go show you all upstairs attic and show you what, what I did there. And this is pretty much uh, what I'm going to have to do to this floor. But uh, I'll be right back with y'all. Alright fellas, I'm upstairs in the attic. See how I had to tear out some of the floor. So I can run the pipe. And... Uh, excuse me. That's the floor. That's the beam that goes, that's holding up the wall. So actually the pipe will go down there, it'll go right underneath there, and then it'll go up, and then it'll go over. Now I'm doing this because I want to run the pipe underneath the floor deck. I don't want to run it on top even though it's in the attic. Uh, I'd rather have the space. It's a little bit more work, but in the long run it's better this way. Cleaned it all out. Everything's nice and clean. Uh, took all the nails and everything out of it already, so it's really ready to be put back together. Pretty much uh, the way I'm doing this is actually doing all the demolition work first, get it all ready. So when we start putting it in, just got to put it in, and then I can go. I can start putting it back together. So the floor is up; it's good enough for here. And I got to do the same thing on the second floor. What I should just showed y'all in this in a, in a part of the video before this, um, you know, when uh, I can run, I can run it down the wall outside. The same thing. Got to take off the weatherboards to um, to run it in the wall instead of running on the side of the weatherboards. You know, uh, I don't like the way things look with you know pipes and everything running outside the weatherboards and everything else like that. So. Take it all apart, sand all everything, paint it, you know, get it all neat and nice and pretty and put it all back together and then it'll be done. Same thing like, you know, the way I did the wall right there, you know. Uh, so that's my process, that's how I'm doing it. This is not a how-to video, but um, um, this is really just a small update. It's a lot of work, real dirty. Getting too damn old for this shit. <laughs> but, uh, that's about it, fellas. Uh, and I'll give y'all updates, uh, Saturday, uh, Sunday, or something like that, maybe next week. And after I get that other uh, baseboard torn out and everything and start tearing out the wall downstairs, I'll give y'all updates to that. Alright, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.